Marin, welcome to Basel. It's your sixth time playing here. You're a former finalist, former champion rather, semi-finalist last year. It's obviously a tournament that you really enjoy. I do. It's always a pleasure to come back uh, to Basel. I had uh, great success here and uh, it's European swing of the tournament. You know, being a little bit closer to home and uh, also getting closer to the end of the season. And uh, it's a big motivation, obviously, to play indoors. Uh, I'm feeling good over here and uh, hopefully I'm going to have another great week over here. And tell us about your form heading into the tournament. What are your hopes for the week? Uh, well, I was a little bit up and down with this, with my form. Lost uh, both first rounds in, in Asian swing, but, you know, that maybe just made me a little bit mentally stronger to just push myself a little bit more in the practices and just to get back on the right uh, right track. I, it's the end of the season, as I mentioned, it's uh, obviously a long one and uh, you really need to be fresh and, and ready to go when the tournament starts. And uh, we are uh, two, two weeks uh, to finish the regular season here um, in Basel and Paris, big tournaments, and hopefully I'm going to be uh, coming back to great form and uh, to use these uh, tournaments really, really good uh, to even boost my confidence and uh, boost even my ranking if possible. And how hard it is, is it to keep that momentum going throughout the year? Because this year you've reached a career high ranking of three. You've all but qualified for London. How It's so close, but how easy is it to keep that motivation going? Uh, well, that's a big challenge for all the players. Uh, you know, the, the grueling season and also the challenges that it, that it possesses, uh, you know, the best guys in the world are able to overcome these challenges and uh, you know that I'm also working on that for me uh, it's been a great year again uh, reaching another Grand Slam final and being most of the year in top five or even just now at the position at six so I'm um, enjoying my time and uh, I'm trying to push myself I'm trying to get as best as I can uh, to use every opportunity I can to to play as good as I can. So uh, those things are most important at the end of the year uh, to uh, when you are analyzing that you feel that you've done the most. You said at the start of the year that qualifying for London was your goal for the year. Mm -hmm. Now that you've pretty much done that, do your goals evolve? Do you have new things you want to aim for now? Or has is, is that sort of taken the pressure off a bit coming towards the end of the year? Um, well, hopefully, you know, uh, still mathematically not in, but hopefully it's going gonna, it's gonna to be OK. And uh, yes, the London was uh, in one of my goals, but I'm trying to keep that as, as uh, Obviously, having that uh, goal to to succeed and to play well at London. Um, you know, uh, I also had a goal to finish in top five. Um, I'm not too far from there. Obviously, uh, a lot of big matches to to play and to win uh, to uh, get in that position. So uh, I'm gonna, you know, just give my best and hope uh, hope it's gonna go well. And a word on your opponent in your first round here in Basel, Denis Shapovalov. You've never played mm -hmm. him before. What are you expecting? I'm expecting a tough match. Dennis is an amazing player, uh, great to watch, and uh, you know one of the uh, next-gen uh, great players. So uh, it's going to be fun to play him, and uh, you know I feel that uh, indoors uh, it's it's always close matches, and he's got a big game, big serve, big forehand too. So uh, I'm going to just have to focus as well on my big shots and serving and, and hitting of the of the baseline baseline really well, and uh, hopefully. I'm going to be doing that well and then I'm going to be overcoming this challenge.